Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to part 5 of my full platinum walkthrough for Elden Ring. We are still in the south of uh, Weeping Peninsula, you can see the little turtle thing there. Uh, this is from the end of the previous video. Uh, yeah, I said I was going to equip the torch, and because uh, I did forget to do it, I'm going to do that quickly now. So if we go into the menu, go to the pouch, I like to have it on the left D-pad. And uh, these are the four things that I will keep in the pouch now. So we're going to put the lantern on. Uh, and now you can just do triangle and left on the d-pad and now you have light and you still have both weapons in your hands and that is you, it's actually one of the best things in the game to be honest because there's quite a lot of dark areas right so we're going to warp up to storm hill shack and continue into storm vale castle so you, this is the shack that we came to when we spoke to that girl uh, we're going to do her sort of side quest and eventually she will go to uh, round table hold uh, but for now, that will be in the, the beginning of the next video. Uh, I don't do the cleanup. I would use, there's a few things I wanted to do uh, with regards to Stormvale Castle and uh, a bit of cleanup. But this, this video is long enough, so uh, we'll do that at the beginning of the next one. Anyway, carry on up this path. Follow the road up, and you will hear a, uh, a crystal lizard. I'm going to call it a crystal lizard. That's what it is uh, <laughs> here. Um, so just kill that, and it's just an Ash of War Wild Strikes. Uh, you probably never going to use it but don't follow the road any further from that look for this guy here he's got one that this is the one that has the trumpet so kill him quickly there are loads of soldiers in these woods uh, there's two archers at the back you can see uh, so make your way back there and try not to get shot like this they're not actually archers if they have crossbows don't they uh, yeah get rid of those and yeah flat use the left flank here don't go up the main path because there is a ballista at the top and obviously that's going to uh, hurt so uh, yeah, if you manage to get rid of the trumpet guy, then you won't get rushed. If you don't manage to get rid of him, then you will get rushed. <laughs> and there's quite a few soldiers that will come running after you. Uh, they're simple enough at this point. Um, we are quite powerful now. Going into the Margit, the Fell Omen boss fight, which is the one of the more famous ones, especially if you haven't really played the game and all you've seen is the trailers. Uh, that's who we're going to fight now. It's the one I saw when the first game, the game first came out. Uh, I saw a lot of people complain that this game is ridiculously difficult. Margit is ridiculous and blah 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 blah. Yeah, of course, if you go and run straight to him at the beginning of the game, he will be horrendously difficult. But we have what four hours or so uh, behind us at this point, exploring and uh, making ourselves stronger, which is what you're supposed to do in this game. Um, you're going to see how easy he can be with the help of two <laughs> uh, two people. So if you uh, haven't been to Roundtable Hold yet, we're going to be able to do that after Margit. So we will visit there and uh, just tidy a few things up there as well. So there is always this summon sign here. This is Sorcerer Roger. Uh, so summon him in if you want help. Uh, I mean, we're trying to make this as easy as possible, so I'm going to do it as well. Why not? Uh, there aren't many opportunities. There's only a handful, really. Um where you can summon in an NPC. But when you do summon help, an NPC, or uh, co-op, uh, a friend, somebody like that, then the enemy's health does go up. It does make the enemy harder. Whereas if you just use your ashes, your summon ashes, which you can use at the same time as a NPC summon, um, it doesn't go up. So it's up to you if you find a, a boss particularly difficult, then don't bring in a summon. Uh, you just use the ashes instead. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I'm not really doing anything here. Uh, there's not much to say about Margit if you have help with two. Uh, obviously, keep your distance. Uh, he has a phase two. You'll see, there we go. He goes and gets his big hammer out and starts smashing the ground. Uh, but just keep your distance um, and keep casting spells. If you are melee, uh, watch out for the staggers. There they are. Uh, so you will be able to stagger him quite easily. Uh, and then you can get a repost on him and do quite a lot of damage. But obviously... Uh, we're doing the magic route here, so uh, just keep casting until he's dead and keep your distance. And that's why Rock Sling is just unbelievable, because I'm stood miles away from the, the enemy at this point, the boss. Uh, he didn't even realise I was there, did he? Uh, but there you go. That's Margaret, that's another trophy. Obviously you can get a trophy for him. And then um, we did get a talisman pouch as well, which means you don't need to make that decision anymore. Or you can have both, should I say. Basically we can have a second talisman now. So if you were struggling between uh, Erd's Tree or the um, the one we just got, Radovan's Scar Seal, Sour Seal, I remember I forget. There's actually both of them are right because the Scar Seal and 
sour seal, whichever one we have. <laughs> um, then you don't need to, you can have both of them on or something else entirely. So there are two grace points. There's always a grace point after a boss uh, like that. And then uh, this is the grace point for the beginning of Stormvale Castle. But we will come back to that in a moment. We're, first, we're going to come to round table hold. So you will definitely be able to go round to turn round table hold if you sit at the next grace point uh, available. You'll be able to uh, to come here. Uh, Melina will bring you here now. So you, we have death roots now. We have two of them. So show D one of the death roots. And uh, I'll show, this is the, what I was talking about the cleanup. Uh, so accept the introduction he's talking about. This is not necessary for any trophies or anything, it's just uh, beast powers. I'll show you where they are at the beginning of the next video. Uh, like I said, the tight is a bit, uh, time is a bit tight on this one. Uh, this door is open now, once you've, you've fought Margaret, you can come in here. And uh, Gideon is in here now. Gideon off near, you can speak to him. Uh, we do have a bell bearing, so I'll just show you what happens when you have one of those. So I was talking about you can kill the merchants. Uh, you, you kill them, you offer the bell bearing, and then whatever they sell becomes available here. So we killed that Bernhard guy and got the legendary weapon from him, who's in that hut. Um, so we can still buy his things, his uh, his ashes there. So uh, nothing is lost in this game, which is good. You don't get locked out of anything. We're just going to go and upgrade the uh, the sword, the Uchikatana, using level two now or smithing stone twos to get it past level 3 into level 4, 5, maybe even 6. I doubt it very highly, but uh, not 6, uh, 7, sorry. If you didn't speak to Fia the first time we were here, if you haven't been here yet, make sure you speak to her, get that hug, and speak to her in secret. And then use the Boulder Clean's blessing, make sure you do that as well. And now we'll do a quick bit of leveling. Uh, we're done with strength and endurance, uh, sorry, strength and dexterity, so uh, I'm going to put, I was thinking of putting one in mind uh, because I want to use this new summon that we got, these new ashes, uh, but because I have the Radagon's Scar Seal or Sour Seal, whichever one it is, um, I don't need to because my FP is already high enough. This guy actually takes 104 FP to cast, so you need to make sure you have above that if you want to use him. He is actually quite good. Um, he's not particularly powerful. So Erdtree's Favour, again, this is uh, the second talisman slot now. So feel free to put on whichever one you want. I'm going to go with Erdtree's Favour, get that extra HP and stamina, although it's not a lot. As you can see, the HP there has not really gone up much. Uh, yeah, the this, this summon, what this summon does, and what you really want a summon to do, is distract and not take too much damage. You're not bothered about doing the damage, that's where you come in. Uh, so this one's really good, because it does warp about and disorientate the, the boss or the enemy. So, uh, yeah, he is quite good. Right, so we're back at Stormbell Castle now. Uh, speak to this guy and say, no, you can do either. It really doesn't matter, to be honest. If you, you say, he's, basically he's going to open the main gate for you. If you say, no, I want to go through the main gate, then uh, go walk back towards the main gate and he'll open it for you. Um, you'll hear him shout out, there we go. We're not actually going to go up there. It's very dangerous to do that, but... Um, it's a shortcut back later on, if you need it for whatever reason. But we're actually going to take the other route and uh, and go this way. Now, that guy looks quite unassuming. Um, he's really not. He's actually <laughs> a major role in this uh, in this area, Stonevale Castle. So we've got some golden rooms there. I'm just gonna, I was going to leave these, but for the sake of what it is, it's there's a fur calling finger remedy down here. I mean, you don't really need that. But there's uh, a few other bits. Just a bit of exploration, like I said. Uh, we were going to explore the, the places that we did go to. So uh, we'll have a quick look down here. I don't go everywhere in the castle, but I'll let you know where everything is. Because this place is uh, quite the maze. So there's some fire grease, which can always come in handy if you want to uh, put that on your weapon. Turn it into a fire weapon for a bit. Trina's lily there. And then that's going to loop you back around. So if you go through this hole, then you'll be back at the stairs. Not exactly very exciting, but um, there you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, the unassuming guy that we just spoke to, he he comes into this a lot in Stormvale Castle, and there is a whole storyline with him, and he becomes sort of the king's consort at the end of the game. Um, it's it's and he's going to see him at the end as well. He's uh, he's around a lot. You'd think he's just you know just some normal NPC that you, that's it. He's done, but uh, he's going to lock you in in a room later on. He actually, if you die in Stormvale Castle, he takes a percentage of your runes. 
So if you do die, say you've got 10,000, uh, I'm not sure the exact percentage, but you will notice it go down, or any amount really, but I'm just saying 10,000 because it's a lot. Um, you will notice, if you if you die with your runes, check them afterwards. There'll be uh, You'll have less, or fewer, should I say. So what I did there was just kill that bird. So these are probably one of the worst enemies in the game. There is definitely a worst enemy in the game. We haven't met one of those yet. But there is... Um, these are one of the worst, so kill these when you can. They are... They just they look like normal birds. Birds are fine, okay? Not these, because they actually ho they're holding swords in their claws. And they're really quick. And because we are using magic, uh, it can be a bit slow. And they'll just uh, fly over the top of us. And they hit extremely hard. Um... They're really unassuming, but uh, yeah, don't sleep on them. Kill them as soon as you can. Obviously, I'm going to let you know where they all are, and you can get them done. Uh, don't try and be keeping your FP or anything. If you see one, use um, Rock Sling to reach it and make sure you definitely kill it. There's two in the tree over here. I'm not even going to try and get close to it and use Pebble and save that little bit of X FP. I'm not bothered. There's another one in the tree. And then there's one on the floor as well. Just making sure. There's definitely three here. There's one on the floor here as well. They will die to one pebble, but I, I'm just not taking any chances. No need. Uh, and then there's Smithing Stone 3. So we will start collecting 3s at this point. We'll get more than enough 2s in this run, uh, in this video, because we are looking around a bit. I mean, just take it in for a moment as well. Look at the side of that. I, I, I know I didn't. I carried on quite quickly. But if you just stop and look at the side of the castle with all the holes coming out of it, it's it's actually really, uh, really impressive. Right, I'm just going to see if I can level up. Nope, nowhere near. And then we'll carry on up here. So this guy here at the top, he is going to turn away from me, but most of the time he will spot you and he'll use his horn and uh, alert the other two. There's just two up here. There's a shield if you need it. So they'll both come uh, running, well all three will come running at you uh, down the stairs. It's actually probably better to do that, because you can just take them all down quickly in a row. So here's the, the other one. So the one that would run out of there, that one, those will run after you if he uses the horn. you got one up here. Obviously kill him before running to this, he'll ch start chucking uh, firebombs at you. We'll be back on there later on. Yeah, so this the guy at the the gates just he, he is one of these ones. He he is you know. That's why I think he's very unassuming. But uh, no, he's uh, he's around a bit. I'll point him out when he's uh, when he's around or he's doing something. Like I said, the main thing he does is he steals uh, runes from you. Now I've not been able to uh, clarify that this is right or not. But there's going to be a giant later on. Uh, and in my practice run, I killed this giant and got six thousand runes. Um, I, I thought it was a bit weird when I when it happened, but I'm wondering whether that this giant that we kill later on holds the runes that the guy steals from you when you die. Like, I can't clarify whether that's right or not because I didn't die this time around and I just got the normal amount when killing the uh, the giant. So uh, yeah, there's a lot going on beneath the surface of these games. Uh, yeah, so watch out for the exploding barrels there, obviously. And we're going to take a quick shot. Don't get that cat. Don't go and get that item that we just saw. There is a another guy chucking firebombs. So we're going to take the shortcut round and uh, get the drop on him. That's the one we killed earlier on. And then through here. And this is the, the guy, the, the stairs where we just were. So we drop in and just kill him. Because, yeah, these would all explode if you just walked up here. And then we'll carry on. Gentle roll through here. Watch out for the drop. Uh, there's another guy here. He's easy enough. Don't bother getting that item yet. We'll get it in a minute. Now, here's where that guy comes in. Uh, as you go through this door, you're going to get locked into this room with quite a dangerous enemy. Now, don't worry if you die. It's I this To be honest, I have every single time apart from this time. So have your light ready. It's extremely dark in here. Uh, so you're going to get a little cutscene and you'll hear the door close behind you. It's actually that guy who let you in on the main gate. 
Uh, yeah, so watch out for this knight. Uh, I'm going to switch to our new spell, which is Ambush Shard, because he has a big shield. Uh, so you can see Ambush Shard is just putting in work, really. Uh, if I was just casting a normal spell at him, I would not be hitting him at all. He was actually I was actually quite lucky there. They're usually hyper-aggressive, these guys. Uh, don't worry, I'll give you a tip on how to defeat him if you do die. It's actually easier if you do die. Because you don't get locked in the second time. Only the first time you ever come in here. So just one for uh, extra one for good luck. Now you do need to come in here because we need to get this rusty key. Yeah, a little bit of a, a refill there. Rusty key. So because we are in a castle now, you won't get that, that swirl of blue and red. Uh, you won't get your tears back while we're in castle. When in a castle or anything like that. So be aware of that as well. Uh, yeah, the, the talisman there is for curved swords if you want to use that. So if you come back here once you've died, what you want to do is just open the door again. You won't get locked in, don't worry. Get the knight's attention and then just come back out here into the hallway and uh, just hit him through the door. He'll get stuck on the door like that because it opens into him. So AI works in our favour for once. And just kill him that way. Uh, you do need to go in there and get that rusty key. So uh, yeah, just kill him the easy way. So don't worry if you do die and well done if you didn't. Right, uh, this is where we uh, need the rusty key for. This is how we continue through the castle. Um, this is actually interesting. This is where the uh, the network test stopped. So as you went up this ladder, it said, right, you're done. Um, try coming back in the full game and you'll have more to do, which was really annoying because I was just getting into this castle at this in the, in the, uh, in the network test. I'll just do a, a little bit of a shortcut. Actually, not a shortcut at all. Uh, apparently, this is the most dangerous guy in the game. <laughs> um, not a shortcut at all. We're just going to grab a few extra things. Got some fire grease if you want to put that on your weapon. Uh, now, there is, a, an, an, there is an item there, you can see. It is a purple one, but it's just an, ater an aterial leaf. Uh, I'll show you how to get it. I'm not going to get it because we don't ever use them, but it is later on. Uh, just around the corner, so watch out for him in there. Lock on early and get rid of him. No item there. And this is a brick hammer, so if you want to use a brick hammer as a weapon, there you go. Whoops, nearly fell off. And then we need to run back up the ladder again. And uh, continue on this time. You can actually get through this castle really quickly uh, <laughs> uh, by just running through it. But like I said, we are just um, taking our time to a degree, having a quick look around. Watch around this corner. There is a guy there who will try and push you or grab you. Uh, so, yeah, dodge through and uh, grab him or kill him, whichever way. <laughs> uh, one at the top here, uh, civil, silver pickled foul foot. This is uh, something you can craft yourself. Uh, it increases your rune gain for a bit. It's not anything we'll ever use, but there's one of them if you want to use it. Mushrooms, great. Uh, now there's going to be another knight at the top of the stairs here. He is an easier one because he doesn't have a shield. But uh, I didn't heal here. I had that little bit of damage you can see there. So, <laughs> um, yeah, he had me shook for a minute. <laughs> I really don't know why, because I usually get rid of him quite quickly. So just keep casting, you can just keep going with this one, but he didn't die, he had that one little bit left. And uh, yeah, and then he disappears on me. So just get myself for a minute, um, fill up on everything, and then he's gone. I was waiting for him to follow me, but uh, he's actually dropped down that side, which is a bit strange. Yeah, panic for a minute there. Wow, <laughs> that, was, that was terrible, wasn't it? Right, on we go in a moment. Uh, yeah, I just said, if you want to get that arterial leaf, that other item that we missed, you drop down there and go round. We don't need it. We're just going to come up here to a grace point. So this is where we get a split path. And we're going to go the opposite way first. So we're just coming here like the grace first. You can sat sit at it now. We're not going back the same way we came. Oh, just shy. I think I do use, yeah, I just use one of the uh, the lesser, the smallest runes, the one, because it's 200, that's enough to put me over. 
at intelligence. Intelligence for a while now. Maybe a bit in mind, endurance, but mostly intelligence. And uh, on up the tower we go. So you will be coming up these stairs quite a few times because that this in itself was a split path. Obviously there was a door in that room. Uh, but then when you get to the top of here, there's a few different paths you can go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's, we do, I don't come and get one item. I might get it at the beginning of the next one because it is quite easy. I'll, I, tell, I thought I'd just tell you where it is, but I think I'll come and get it in the beginning of the next video. It is quite easy, but I just didn't want to come up this path again. Uh, I think I've come up here two or three times as it is. So, uh, yeah, watch out for the, the one with the arrow that we just killed, and then you can jump over here and get the daggers if you want. Don't really use daggers myself. Now, when you come through here, duck down. When you come through the door, you can go either way, by the way. This is a, a circle. Duck down, and you want to kill this one first up here because he, he has the horn. He'll alert everybody else. And there are more than you think. There's one in the corner here. Weirdly got the uh, the surprise kill on him. There's one here. There's two over here. And there's one in this corner here. So yeah, there's quite a few that will suddenly just wake up and come running after you and you don't want that uh, as easy as they are on their own. Now we're going to jump across. Uh, yeah, there's two paths here as well, you see. So we're going to go down there, but there's that, you can actually go that way as well. Uh, which will go that way uh, shortly because there is a stone sword key. So I'm just going to drop down, carefully drop down here. I probably should have changed it today, but it does look better in night. And then we just drop down. There is some wood below me there as well. And we drop down, I'm going to get the smithing stone two times two. And this is actually the safer way to get down as well, believe it or not. Because once you jump onto here, there is one of these warhawks, but um, it breathes fire as well, so that's fun. It, not only does it have the knives, <laughs> so get rid of that guy. And then we'll jump over here and uh, get the gesture, not that we needed it. Just have a quick run up here, get the claw talisman for anybody who might want that. Again, not something we need. There, I don't think there is actually anything we need in this castle. We just need to get through it. Uh, this castle is completely skippable, avoidable, however you want to say it, actually. Uh, you don't have to do this. It may look like a roadblock, but you don't actually have to come through this castle at all. Uh, you can go around it, which is uh, quite interesting. But we need to because we need a trophy for killing the boss of this place. So kill those. Uh, there are some eagles up here. Quite a few to be honest. Uh, if you do use bow and arrow and you craft arrows yourself, then you want to be killing most birds you come across. Because you're going to get flight pinions. There's one. And they are needed to craft arrows. Claw talisman. Not one I would ever use. Didn't get any then. So yeah, be careful. Obviously, we are high up. But in this middle bit, you can drop down. And then we'll drop back down. And behind where the ladder was. And uh, and go back and carry on. Back on here is where the eagle was. And then drop down here. And then there's going to be a couple of enemies ahead of us here. So kill the lesser one with a pebble first and then quickly rock sling the other guy twice. That should be enough to kill him. It's one of those larger knights. And we've got the banished knight helm. This is the first time I ever got that helmet. And um, I think I get it three times in this video. <laughs> but that's just the way these drops go, isn't it? A couple of guys here. So you've got the one ahead of you and then one's going to slowly walk up on you. Now this is going to be a shortcut we come back and do later on, uh, but this is going to take us to the boss essentially. You can run all the way, we're going to run across the rooftops and make it past 
the large group of enemies which can kill you quite quickly if you don't know about them. Go through these boxes, don't go down the ladder, go through these boxes and drop down. And that's going to give you the drop on these guys. There's one there, and then there's a larger one there. Uh, if the larger one starts to run, don't try and hit him, you'll just waste FP. Yeah, he didn't. He, he, will, he will usually try and climb up the ladder and come and get you. You can shoot him while he's on the ladder. But he didn't do this time. Now, this doesn't go according to plan 100%, but there is a couple of the dangerous knights here, so don't go running forward. You're going to have to stay here and do it. Try and get this guy with rock sling. It doesn't matter if you, you lose one of them. Hit him with three. Uh, and usually you can get him before this guy turns up, but he turned up early and I wasn't ready. And he is, uh, he's, oh, that was close, that was close. Yeah, this is the move you need to avoid with them, because they get, ah, that was poorly dodged as well. And then the fire as well. <laughs> he's, uh, he's trying to avenge his brothers, isn't he? I need to just quickly run away and recoup. So that's what I'm going to do, re uh, reevaluate my life. Because <laughs> that was terrible. Right. It's just not giving me that inch that I need to start casting. Yes, that's what, exactly what I need you to do, the fire. Right. Jesus, that was a lot worse. So he is hiding in this corner here. Uh, so if you move too far forward, he will just come and get you. You don't want both of them, that's for sure. And we've got some festering bloody fingers. Use those to try and invade people. We are not playing online and we don't want to invade, so we're not going to use those at all. Uh, you can drop down there. There's no need to. But uh, you can, you'll be behind all the enemies if you did. Um, it's time for confession time with Ben in a moment. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll explain what's going on. So we're carrying on. We're, good, we're all the way back at the main gate now. Uh, this is where we've come round. We're at the main gate. Uh, so these are all, there's loads of ballistas that are, uh, that are covering that main gate. And as soon as you try and walk through the main gate, you'll just die. And these, this is the reason why. There's four of them that will hit you. Uh, no, sorry, there's... Yeah, there's four ballistas. There's one to the side as well here. Now, at this point, you're probably going to be running low on FP and potentially health as well. And this is where confession time with uh, with Ben comes into it. Uh, so there is a grace point. I'm just going to grab this. And there is a guy I'm waiting to kill. He usually runs up the stairs. Come on, kill him first. Where is he? There he is. No, not him. I'm locking. No, not him. He's on the FP now. This one here. Uh, yeah, he can follow up the stairs. Right, so grab this item. And then if you go down these stairs, and if you stay to the right hand side, there's a grace point. Now, this is where confession time comes in. I've played this game for many uh, 150, 200 hours maybe. I didn't know, or I, I didn't remember it was there. There's a grace point to the right of me right now. Go and get it. Uh, I do go back. I weirdly remember as I'm I'm playing it in a moment uh, because this does not go well at all. The fact you're probably going to be running out of FP and health and things like that. Uh, but a bit just after a while, I'm playing this again. Why you shouldn't be playing this <laughs> first thing in the morning because uh, you'll forget things like that. Um, yeah, apparently this guy's the hardest one in the game because he nearly kills me. <laughs> I don't know what was going on with this guy. And now I've got no health left. So again, I'm getting flustered here. Um, it does happen when you're recording, especially. Uh, yeah, I, I completely forgot that I've got the other, the wondrous physic as well. So I should have used that. So, I do know that that grace point is there. I got it during the network test. Uh, and there's something, as I come through here, I'm thinking, I've just got to run for it and make it to this uh, this grace point through these doors. So that's what I'm going to do. But there is a huge lion enemy to the right of me now. It's just a one-off, kill him once and he's done. Um, so I'm just running through here because we do need to come through here later on. So I'm just going to run through and get the grace point. And just weirdly, I, I, I hadn't thought about the grace point that I'm about to go and get in a moment. Uh, since the network test, I completely forgot about it. So I'm going to show you where it is, and uh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> that's all I can say. 
I know I haven't sat down. I didn't want to respawn the enemies. I thought I'd just go and do it. But I am low on hit FP as well. I won't get past that that lion there. So this is a rune tower. This is the reason I've um, I thought I could hear him following me. Uh, this is the reason I've I've come to this grace point because this is a rune tower. So once we've killed Godric afterwards, we'll come back here with his rune uh, and get a trophy. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's a bit of a mistake on my part this one, but it happens. The game is so huge, uh, you can't know where everything is. But this is actually quite obvious. Uh, there is the gate is here as well, so I can bring in a uh, summon and I actually do. Because the, the, these lions aren't too bad if you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. They really aren't because they, they, they telegraph their moves quite quite long, quite, uh, quite obvious. But they do that a lot. So whatever spell you try and cast, they'll just jump out the way of it. And it's... What I should be using is the uh, the ambush shard. It will stop him jumping. But then I thought we'll just bring this guy in and test him and see how he see how he is. Now you can see he keeps phasing in and out. Uh, that's because that's what he does. He teleports all over the place. He's one of the teleporting enemies. Uh, it's actually really helpful against bosses because he gets their attention. I'm making this look a lot harder than it actually is. <laughs> But once you've killed it once, you, you're good, you're done. I thought it was done then. There we go. And you get a Somber Smithing Stone 1, which you already have. Beast Blood and Old Fangs, which are crafting materials. But unfortunately, now all of the enemies are back, so we're going to have to deal with them before running to that Grace Point. It was it was while I was in that tower before, I was thinking, there's a Grace Point by that, by that um, entrance, isn't there? Have I forgotten a grace point? I think I've forgotten a grace point. And uh, yeah, this is why I've run back through here, because I definitely did. He's now stuck on there, teleporting, phasing in and out. See, he doesn't do much damage, but it's fine. He is actually only level 1 as well. Uh, we will level our summons up, our ashes up, so they will become stronger. Right now he's just level 1. But uh, yeah, he doesn't do much damage, but what we need him to be is a distraction. And he's a really good distraction, because the enemies can't really get to him. Uh, if there's only just one of them. I don't know where he's going, he's phasing all over the place. So we are going to have to kill these... Uh, these ballista guys again, because they will kill us if we just run forward. There is one there, I can't quite get to him. So the video would have probably been like five minutes shorter had I not messed around doing this, so I do apologise. But I definitely wanted to show you. Try not to get shot here. And it's really obvious in the daytime. <laughs> there's, a, there's a doorway there. It's because when I come down here, my, my focus is, is on the lion. I'm thinking, I've got to go and do this lion now. And, um, yeah, just completely forgot about the, the grace point. Oops. Took one to the face. <laughs> Straight through the head. So there's all the stuff uh, at the gate as well. So the gate is clear now. And then we'll go and do the grace point. So yeah, it's really ridiculously obvious, isn't it? We're above where the, the guy opened the gate. So here's the switch for the gate. There. So if it's not open, you can do it yourself. Some uh, simple garb. I don't know if you want to wear that. Probably not. If the uh, you see that my summon is flashing there... There, he stopped flashing now. It means you're walking out of the range of, of the area where he can be summoned. So, just if you were wondering. Uh, a few items here, just some golden runes, really, and some bolts. And, uh, yeah, that's that's this done. Uh, we're not going to continue any further up, because there's lots of ballistas that we don't need to deal with. So, all we needed to do there, really, was get to that tower. Uh, so, there was the grace point. Don't do the same as I just did. But that's the whole point, isn't it? That's why I do these videos and things like that. I make the mistakes so you don't have to. 
And we're going up these stairs once again. At least now it's sunny. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to go and take this shortcut that I mentioned earlier on now. So we're going to be a bit quicker about it. But uh, we're going to go the other way down, which is a bit more of a a dangerous way, slightly, uh, in that you can't really get the, the fire-breathing bird. Uh, so duck down here. Uh, kill this guy first, obviously. Now, we, we do... Well, we don't have to, but... We could come up here again and uh, and get something else. I'll explain where it is in a moment. Uh, I may do it at the beginning of the next one, or I may just buy it, to be honest. Uh, I just didn't feel like coming up here again. So if you drop down on the... There's a wall. You can just see it running down the side there. And then there's a building at the end you, you drop down to. Uh, you can only get onto it from this tower if you drop down. You, I was going to try and do it here and see if there's a way around. But the main reason we came this way now is for the stone sword key. Uh, the bird is below me now. You can get it with a spell if you lock on. But I was seeing if you could walk along the edge uh, and then drop onto the wall from from there. But you can't. Uh, so it's that wall to the right. You walk around, along the edge of it. Uh, and then on the right hand side you'll be able to drop down. Uh, and then drop down again and it will take you to uh, another area which we haven't been to yet. And on the top of that area there's another stone sword key. Uh, so I may go and get it if we need it. Chances are probably won't, so uh, we might not. But anyway, just in case you wanted to go and get it. So across this bridge again, you should recognise where we are. We've already been here once. It's him that takes two shots, not the first one. And then we're going to do a, a bit of a shortcut here. So I'm going to jump across. And then you can drop through this into the uh, the building below. There is a guy here, though. Uh, to my left on the ground floor, there are lots of enemies. You can see the barricades there. There is a big enemy over here. I'm locked onto him right now. I was, just, I was going to try and kill him. Because uh, I didn't want him to get his attention, but getting the dog's attention is just as good, to be honest. Because it is the dog that notices you, not him. Uh, so get the dog to walk towards us and then and then kill it. Because he, he will notice you. You can just run for it, because the grace point is just behind. Uh, and if you are quick enough, you can just sit at the grace point. But this uh, this will mean you're completely anonymous. So if we drop down now that it's safe. There's a shield here. And it's quite dark, so we'll stick the lamp on. Handy little thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's lots of enemies off to the left. Uh, I'm not going to bother doing them at all. There is also a statue there with the blueing, blue glow in its chest. You can see it. Uh, now, I have tried to break it with this big guy here. Uh, he doesn't seem to break it, so it probably needs one of the big axe enemies. So the ones we've been fighting that take two shots. Uh, there is one of those, at least one of those, further down to the left, so... It would probably just be one of those. I've never broken it open, so we don't need it because I'm quite comfortably finished this game without it, so it'll be fine. Uh, so yeah, this is the grace point I was talking about, so if you can just run to it, light it, sit at it, you'll be safe because it will refresh the area, obviously. And uh, yeah, can we level up? Yeah, we can. So intelligence, let's get that extra power in there. So yeah, over there, there's loads of enemies. There is, uh, I think there's a pike uh, weapon in the middle. That door to the right of the far tower is the where we are going to kind of circle back round. But for now, we are going back to Stonevale Castle. Uh, this rampart one again. So we're going out the opposite side this time. And there's lots of those birds here. So make sure you kill them from a distance. Don't wake them up. Don't go too close. Just use a rock sling. Get it killed. Don't worry about it. There's one off here to the left. And then there's one that we have to kind of deal with because we can't snipe it. So uh, we're going to have to do that. And it's here. I'm going to try and get its attention. So what this one likes to do is carry a barrel with it and throw it into the other barrels. Like that. So it will sort of lock on. The, there we go. It will free itself from the corner and then quickly get rid of it. Here's the swing. Managed to get a further enough away. Far enough away, should I say. And uh, smithing stone too, so it's kind of work, worth it. Uh, I will just point out there is another side area down here I'm not going to go and do. There's absolutely nothing we need down there. Uh, there's an extremely tough enemy down there. So you would get down there from the other side and uh, you sort of work your way around. You can see there's a lip here. Drop down and uh, work your way around. We don't need to do it. 
so I'm not going to. There's a, a quite a tough enemy. Uh, if you do go down there and try and fight this tough enemy, uh, you can do it at a distance with magic, so it's not so tough for us, but if you're melee, then, um, yeah, maybe not. Now we're going to carry on. There is a knight here. Try and get him from a distance. It will help. One shot. And I think we break his block with the second one, which is mostly what you'll do. You, when you use Roxling against someone with a shield, it, you'll notice you'll break their block, but you can't cast quick enough to follow up. So you might be able to switch to, uh, to Glintstone Pebble if you know you're going to break their shield open. But more likely you will not. That's why I prefer using Ambush Shard. And uh, we'll just kill him as he climbs up. Drop down this side, get some Kukris, not that we need them. And into this church here to meet uh, Roger. So he's the guy that we summoned against Margot on Margit. Margit? <laughs> Too many similar names. Anyway, say that you're here to defeat Godric. And then he'll say blah, 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 blah. <laughs> well, a bit more eloquent than that. But yeah, basically he'll sell you some Ash of Wars. Spinning weapon. They're all magic ones. Um, so you can get what that is there. It's Glintstone Pebble. It's not the spell. It's actually an Ash of War. So if you want to use Glintstone Pebble as a melee build, you can put it as your Ash of War. And then you can use L2 to, uh, to cast magic from your weapon, which is kind of weird. But uh, it works that way. Uh, obviously you'll scale your, your weapon of magic at that point. So probably not the best, but just if you ever want to, if you if you say you, I can't think of a, a reason why you would use it, because uh, you would always be scaling of magic, but it's there if you wanted to do it. If you say you don't have enough spell slots for us, I mean, uh, and you want to still use it, you could put it there instead. But we will have enough spell slots, so that's not going to be a problem. Right, carry on, don't drop down to that fog door. It's going to get dark in here again, so I'll just light it up. Yeah, I didn't buy any from him, but uh, they're there if you want them. There's going to be an enemy off to the left. He's going to rush you. This is one of the ones with the big axes. This is one of the ones that I thought would break that blue statue, because uh, they do slam into the ground pretty hard, so it's probably that that you need to break that one, where the big guy was. Uh, another knight here. I usually wait till he comes around the corner. It's probably the best thing to do, so you don't waste two shots breaking the furniture. But we got him anyway. Uh, yeah, I think this get another helmet here. I think I just got one previously. I'm not going to use it. I don't use. I try not to use. No, I don't use any uh, random drops because it's not guaranteed you will have them. So there's no point. Uh, a couple of dogs down there. Just snipe them from the top. Don't drop down just yet. Got the mimic's veil here. Uh, this is an item you can use to disguise yourself. Um, it's not something I'll ever use, but you could try it if you want to. Guy here to the left, watch out, he'll come running after you. And I'm trying to lock onto this guy here and failing miserably. There we go. And then you can see there's quite a big enemy in the background. Just get rid of these three here. That'll never not be satisfying doing that. Exalted flesh. Not going to use that as a. An item we can use, but I don't rely on consumables to be honest. Commoners gear there. So this is the you know the first boss. It's the one that dropped down on us as well in the uh, in the tomb. Hero's grave. Uh, usually you can just hit him the once you get his attention, and he'll come and sit down here, so you can just kind of kill him from above here. But he's having none of it. He's just uh, being really annoying. I am using, uh, obviously I'm using Roxling because I'm quite far away. There we go, come on. Nope. No, he's changed his mind again. You can't use, this is the, the, the one downside with Ambush Shard is it's not got a very good uh, reach. So you do need to be fairly close to the enemy you want to use it on. I'm using, oh, we're nearly there. Nearly got him to come down. Nope, he's backing away again. Don't know what the deal is with him. I keep losing the lock as well because he goes behind that pillar. Nope. Any day now. There we go. 
I mean, that'll do fine. Uh, his AI is completely broken at this point. <laughs> I don't care. Just yeah. Usually he comes really. V oh, you've seen how vicious those enemies are. Uh, usually they'll just come down and try and attack you, but he was having none of it. Anyway, he's a one-off. Once you've killed him once, he's gone forever. Some staunching boluses there. You'd put that on bleed if you had bleed. Not that you'd. Put, if somebody's using bleed, they usually have a quite a quick weapons. So you don't really have the time to do it. So uh, never mind. Uh, the chrysalids memento here. So the, the woman that we spoke to in the hut, I, my her name does escape me. Uh, right back, way back, and she was talking about the chrysalids. If you go into the castle, she was the one with the Yorkshire accent. Uh, then tell her that I love them, that kind of stuff. Uh, then that unfortunately was the chrysalids there in a pile. <laughs> so I'm going to take that memento back to her. Uh, so I use the stone sword key. Uh, if you're going strictly magic, there is nothing we actually need in here. But I am just showing you that there is an iron wet blade here. So if you're going for quality build, uh, strength and dex, uh, then this is the wet blade you will need to put to allow you to do quality on your weapon. Uh, I think it does um, strength or something else as well. But if you go in quality, which is another popular build, then uh, that's the one you're going to want to go for. So it'll improve the scaling of both strength and dex. Uh, yeah, so that's all we came in there for. If you don't want those, then maybe don't use the uh, stone sword key. Not that we're going to run out, but if you want an extra one for something else later on that I give you the option to open, then uh, save it. Lots of bodies. So the door that we saw from a distance, where all those enemies were, where the big guy was, that we we sneaked around uh, with the dog, uh, that's the door. So don't go out that door there below me now. Um, you're going to get attacked by a lot of arrows. So just leave that for, for not for now. We're just not going to go that way. There's no need. Got some arrows there. We didn't really need to go up there for those. Uh, so this is the item. I was talking about the you go along the wall and you drop down. There is an item directly above me now. Uh, that's where you will drop down. So it is another way into this building. Um, I, I may still come back and do it at some point. It's a free stone sword. So if we do need it, I'll get it. And uh, yeah, take this lift up. And we've gone full circle. Back here again. So that's the, the stairs we keep going up. And uh, yeah, there's the, the bonfire and there's the eagle things through there so we'll just teleport to lift side chamber now this is the one we opened up earlier on because we're we're done there i was going to go that way at first but we'll actually go through the back go this way and we are at the boss essentially at this point we're going to run to him in a moment there is another uh, grace point yet just calling the lift and uh, seeing if i can level up while i'm waiting i cannot it's very close though And we'll, uh, we'll take this up, put the lamp on. Always check your corners, even if you know there's nothing there. <laughs> you never know with these games. Right, this is quite... I don't know, I don't like killing these guys. There is a big one at the back, which you're going to see him come spinning through. He is actually... he's not friendly, obviously. Uh, he's not like the other one, Alexander, so do kill him quickly. And there's lots of the little ones, unfortunately. It's, it's worse killing the little ones. I don't like killing the little ones. I don't know why I'm doing it, really. I guess for runes. Souls, whatever you want to call them. Just cutting through them. Not nice at all, really, is it? It's probably worse than killing the tortoises, to be fair. But they do hurt <laughs> if they, uh, they catch up to you, so maybe at least the tortoises don't attack you at all. Couple of cracked pots there. They are a, quite a rare craftable uh, item used for crafting, so uh, be aware of that. And don't forget that there is a crystal lizard down here. I'm still calling him that. And you get the stone, storm collar, ash of war. So that that spinning wind attack that uh, you've seen quite a few enemies do. It's that one. And then uh, run through and we're just through the left there as we ran through that tunnel. That's where the boss is. Uh, good old Godric, but we aren't ready to do him just yet. More intelligence, get that damage output a bit higher. Yeah, so this is the giant I mentioned right at the beginning when I said I'd killed him once. You usually get about 1200 um, runes from him. 
I got it was five or six thousand. I, I've checked the fee. I have it recorded. Um, I checked it back, and it was definitely five or six thousand that he dropped, which was weird because I went back and killed him again afterwards, and it was just the normal twelve hundred or whatever it is. We'll find out in a second. Yes, it's twelve hundred just over. Um, so I'm just wondering when you do die, your souls do go. Your souls, your runes do go down by a percentage. You don't collect the full amount when you collect them again because uh, some of them have been stolen. I'm just wondering whether that giant holds them. Uh, be interesting to know. So if you do know whether that is the case, then let me know. Golden Seed, obviously we are going to go and get that. And use, let's see, this is me not following my own advice. This is one of the, the worst ones that breathed the fire. So use uh, Rock Sling against him. And then go into this room here. Uh, smithing stone times four, quite a few here. We don't need the wands anymore, but there you go. If you want to start a new weapon off, you will do. And uh, speak to, I forget her name, something Lou. Horror Lou is the other guy. It's Nefelia Lou, I think it is her. Uh, speak to her, exhaust her dialogue as you should with all NPCs, and she will now be a summon for Godric, so that makes him just that bit easier as well. There's one more Warhawk here. I think they're called Stormhawk, Warhawk. Well, I know Warhawk's a game. We'll go with Warhawk. It sounds better. If it's not, it should be. And then we've come full circle again now as well. Just kill him. So I reckon he could be the guy you could use. If you woke him up, uh, cleared the area down below, woke him up, uh, and got him to go to that blue statue next to the big guy, he might have a better chance of breaking it than uh, the big guy himself. So if you, you took him down here and the statue just at the bottom of those stairs... Who knows? Either way, I know we can complete the game, platinum it, without any difficulty, without doing it. But if you want to do it, and let me know again, let me know what was in there. <laughs> so you can see there, it's the boss fog. We are not ready just yet. Keep tenting you, but we're not there just yet. So we're just going to do a quick loop of a secret area to... Um, we'll grab a few extra things, stone sword key and uh, some... Smithing stone twos and threes. So back this way towards the, the pots. We're not going to kill them again though. We're going to go up this way. And jump across onto the lip of this uh, this wall here. And follow this round. It took me a while to find this one. Uh, there is another way you can get to where we're going. Uh, but only the lower part. I'll, I'll explain what I mean about that in a moment. You've already got the light on, dumbass. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, there's some two, uh, three smithing stone twos here, so that's worth it just for that, really. Because you'll definitely have enough of those by now. There is a Trina's Lily. I don't mark them anymore. But uh, they are one-offs. Smithing stone, golden runes. Now we've got quite a few enemies in here, but they are the easy ones. There's one there, and there's one directly to my right who doesn't really wake up even when you miss him with a sword. I don't know how that missed, but there you go. <laughs> it did. So, yeah, there's quite a few. There's a couple below me now. There'll be some coming up the stairs as well. And then there's a few off to the left as well. I think, yeah, there's one to the right of the stairs. Try and do a dramatic drop, but completely miss. <laughs> that was terrible. Got his headband though. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Tower shield. And then out here. So this is actually uh, that sign on the floor. Obviously, I am playing offline. It's telling you that you're close to another secret. Uh, in which you are. So Smithing Stone 3 is obviously something we do need. I'm going to drop down here. Be careful getting this one. You can't actually pick it up from standing here. You need to jump on the wall, so be careful, because there is a death drop on the other side. So yeah, this you can actually... This is the lower part I was talking about. 
Uh, you can just drop down. So you open this door, you should recognise where we are. We're at that bonfire, the bonfire. Grace Point again, we've been here before. It's the one behind that, that big troll guy. Uh, you can just go out this door and hook round to the right hand side and drop down and you'll get to where we are in a moment without having to do that other shortcut we just did. Well, it's not the shortcut. Secret way we just went. Uh, so that's the bit I couldn't find initially straight away. Got there in the end. So there is a bat in here. He's hanging off the ceiling. So kill him. Arterial leaf. Great. A couple more bats. I thought there was there's nothing else there. And then uh, drop down. Smithing stone too. I'm sure we've got plenty of those by now. More than enough. Right, so we've got rats down here. Uh, if you've killed a rat and got something called a rune arc, then that's actually quite rare and good. Uh, you can farm rats for rune arcs. They will come into play in the next video. Uh, I'm not ever going to use... If you know what rune arcs are, I'm never going to use them in this guide because I can't guarantee that you will have them. Um, we're going to get something called a great rune after defeating uh, Godric. And to activate a great rune, you need something called a rune arc, which are quite rare. You you can farm them from rats, but like I said, they are rare. Spell there, Rancor, uh, Rancor Call, which I won't actually use. Right, uh, so I'm just going to drink from my Physic. So I've got that, that bubble uh, in my Physic that negates the first hit that we take, or pretty much negates it. So I'm just going to use that, and we're going to drop down here, and we're going to run. Pick. You don't need to pick that item up. The one we're picking up is this one. Uh, and what we're trying to do is just make it out quickly. Uh, so this is a, an enemy we haven't fought yet. Uh, we have walked past several of them. Uh, this is a boss we're not going to try and defeat. Uh, weirdly, he's just not active at all. He's supposed to be chasing us. Uh, and usually he'll get stuck on the vines there, which was what I was hoping. Uh, so pick up the talisman there. It's not one we'll ever use, so don't worry about it. And then go up this ladder. What we went there for is a stone sword key. If you manage to kill that thing, you will get a golden seed. Uh, I'm not. I thought we'd come back to it later on, but we don't actually have to, so don't worry about doing it. Go up that ladder. It takes a long time, so I've just cut that out. Um, or if he's not noticed you, you can just teleport out and uh, go back to secluded cell. So yeah, all we went there for was the the key and to show you that if you do want to kill him for a a golden seed, you can. But uh, we won't because <laughs> they are quite tough. Right, now it's time for Godric. So I'm going to bring in um, Nefelia Lou, and I'm also going to bring in uh, my little Ash friend as well. Because why not? Let's make it as easy as possible. So you will get a cutscene at the start and in the middle of this fight. The cutscene in the middle is really good. <laughs> it's uh, It's intense. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to skip the cutscene. Obviously we don't need to watch that. And then uh, on with the fight. So it's another one. Stay from, stay distant. I'm going to bring in our headless friend. And yeah, you can see what he's going to do is the best thing uh, a summon can do. And that is be aggressive. You see how aggressive he is. He's obviously teleporting in there. And he's just completely removed any attention from us. I mean, even the failure lose not close enough to be actually aggroed. When he does the twist there, he is going to fire off a wind, that was a terrible dodge, a wind attack towards you. That's pretty much the only time you should be getting attacked from him. Uh, apart from that, he will just be occupied with everybody else. Uh, when, he's, when he lets out a roar there, he's going to do it, and then you notice his damage will stop going down quite a lot. Uh, he's going to move into phase two. When he does that, start moving down towards the stairs, down the stairs, and be ready to run past him on his right hand side. Uh, usually he doesn't track you as quickly as that, but if you roll around him, he'll completely miss you. That wasn't the best, but uh, yeah, and then go back to the what you were doing before. Keep your distance, and uh, keep spamming Rock Sling, and you should have zero problems with this guy. I've got more than enough distractions going on there. It almost feels like cheating. I mean, it probably. I mean, it's not cheating. It's not. It's in the game. <laughs> so yeah, don't. If anybody 
has a go at you for using magic. I'm sure people will say about this card as well. Then uh, I don't care. <laughs> You're the one that has the problem with it, not me. Um, yeah, so yeah, you were making this as easy as possible for everybody else. He is stuck a bit behind there. I can't quite hit him, but uh, there we go. He does take quite a long time to die as well, so he will go on a bit of a spiel. And then eventually he will officially die. Godric the Grafted. Yeah, yeah, he's still going on. And then there we go. Trophy and Great Rune, which we will use. And a Remembrance, where you haven't dealt with Remembrances yet. Uh, but that's what the giant turtles are for, the big ones that uh, we didn't kill yet. Or hadn't dropped down to the floor. Anyway, we'll deal all with that later on with the cleanup that I was going to do at the end of this video, but it has dragged on a bit. Uh, so I will do that at the beginning of the next one before we move on. A couple of points in intelligence, and that's where we're going to leave this one. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.